Hello guys. What's up? Today in this video we are gonna have a look at pure CSS animated menu bar. Let's see how the final output at the end of our video looks like. This is a smooth CSS animated menu bar in which the color of each button is going from blue to red. So, let's get started. First we open Notepad++ and save the file. I'm saving this to a folder named menu which I have a already created. I'm naming this as menu and changing its type to hypertext markup language. Now click on save to save the file. Now we are ready to go. I have copied the code which is basic skeleton of HTML page. Now let's give this a title. My title is adding CSS effects to menu. Now save this and create a new file and save it to the same folder. I am naming this as style and changing its type to cascading style sheet. Now let us link the style sheet to our menu HTML file. To do this we use link tag. The release style sheet type is text, CSS and href is the path to the style sheet. That is style.css because it is in the same folder. Now let's add some content to our body. Now we are adding a div tag to the body and give an it to it. The it I am giving here is menu. Now let's add some links that we use to navigate on the page. We use anchor tags to give links. I am using pound in the href so that it gets redirected to the same page. Now copy and paste this for 5 times. Give them some names. Home, about us, our services, our clients and contact us. Let's save this and have a look at how our HTML page look like. Open the CSS folder and double click on the menu. This is how our page looks like. Now let's add some CSS to our web page. Let's go back to style.css and add background color to the page. To do this first select the body followed by curly braces. The styling added in between these braces belongs to body. To add a background to body use background. The color used here is already selected by me. I am setting a margin of 0 pixels to this. You can see the background color has changed to light greenish color. Now I am adding style to the menu bar. As previously did to add style to menu bar select the menu bar by its ID. The ID is menu. When you use ID use pound to select the ID. So, the code goes this way. Pound menu followed by curly braces. And the styling goes into curly braces. I am adding a padding of 30 pixels to the whole lid. Let us save this and see how it looks. The gap around the text can be seen. Now to create gap around each link add padding to each anchor. Select anchor and add padding of 12 pixels of height and 24 pixels of width. The gap can be clearly observed. Let add font styling to this. Give font family Helvetica and font size of 17 pixels. I am adding color to the font. I have already selected the color to be added. I have changed text color to white. Save it and see how does that look. The change in text font and color can be seen. But the links are all underlined. I don't want this underline in my links. So let's remove this. To do this go to CSS and add text decoration to anchor. The text decoration should be set to none to remove the underline. Now let's refresh it and see. The underlines have disappeared. Set margin of 12 pixels and add a background color. The color is already selected by me. It's light blue. The links are all rectangles. To make this more catchy we will add a radius to the ends. To do this use border radius of 8 pixels. There is a smooth finish around links. Now let's add hover to those links. To do this select anchor A with hover and give a background color. I have given a red color to this. You can see on hovering on links the background color changes to blue to red. To make this more interesting we will set time for hover to happen. Let us say I want the hover to happen in 0.4 seconds then I will go to anchor. Then use transition for the background. Because I want to target background. Then set time of 0.4 seconds with a linear function. This helps in changing the color of background little slow. Thank you for watching our video. Like comment and share our video. 
do not forget to subscribe.